All right, so let's close out our vex functions and easing functions here by wrapping this all up into an HDA and turning this into a path. So let's start with a path. So it's pretty awesome because we created this using a, a for loop, which means that all the points are in the correct order. They go from zero to the number of points, 33 in this case. So this actually makes this really easy. We just need to drop down a switch node. All right, and this will allow us then to utilize an add node. Let's do that one more time there, an add node. And um, all I really need to do is go to the polygon tab and just say by group, and I get a, a path or a polyline using all of those points. So I'm going to pipe that into my switch function. So now I have the option of getting just the points or the path. All right, so this is super useful, especially um, if you want to utilize these um, curves, these particular types of curves or functions to do things like suspension bridges or railing on like a staircase railing, you know, stuff like that. You know, you can always loft a, or sweep, I should say, a circle along these and get a nice clean shape out of it. All right. So let's move on to make this, making this into an HDA. So I'm going to jump up and out using the U key on the keyboard. And I'm just going to right click on this and say create digital asset. And we are going to call this the well, I'm going to call the IP easing video, and then I'm going to make these guys, these capitals, just for the label, and I'll save it in my standard documents OTLs folder. All right, that's my home folder right there. Hit accept and destroy all per spare parameters, which is fine. Then let's, let's just hide all this stuff here. Very cool. All right. And the first thing I want to do is I want to create an ordered menu. And this ordered menu is going to let us select the function type. So for the label, I'm going to do function type. All right. So what we need to do with this ordered menu is actually put in all the different options that a user could select utilizing all of the functions, these VEX functions that we've written. All right. So I'm going to say that menu item zero is equal to uh, linear, like so. Menu item one is equal to ease in like so. Menu item two is equal to ease out. And then finally, menu item three is equal to ease in out. Hit apply, accept. All right, so if we were to jump back out of this, so let's hit U on the keyboard, you can see now I have a drop down that has all the options in it. So I want to be able to utilize this value inside of my VEX or my wrangle node. So what we need to do is we need to come in here and create a parameter that we can attach the value to that parameter that's sitting on top of the HDA. So I'm going to declare, declare a new um, integer called type, and it's going to be equal to CHI. We'll just call it type as well. So it's a channel that sits on this wrangle node. So I'm going to go and hit that spare parameter button. So now I have a way to access that menu item. So all I need to do is say CH two quotation marks, and then dot, dot, forward slash, and then function type. That gives me access to whatever's selected inside of the menu. All right, so that's just the first step. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to actually hook up the code so that way we're switching appropriately, right here, we're switching appropriately to the right function based off of this type value. So whatever that type value is currently equal to. So I'm going to say if uh, type is equal to zero, then we're going to do a linear. All right, so let's just uh, copy this right here. So I'm going to put this right down there like so. And say uh, we are going to do the linear ease. All right. And now you might notice that we're declaring the y value down here. So what we need to do to make this work is cut that out paste it up there and not initialize it to anything. Uh, you can always initialize it to zero as well if you want. All right. But now what's going to happen is we initialize it to zero, and then we're going to see what type the user selected. And then we're going to set the, the Y value to something. All right. So let's finish this up here. So I'm going to say the Y value is equal to that ease in and out there, but we need to finish up our if else checks here. So we're going to say if type is equal to one, that means we are doing our ease in. So let's copy this here. 
All right, and we'll do our ease in function. And then we'll do else if type is equal to two. All right, these all correspond to those items that we just typed into that ordered menu option. So I want to do ease out like so. There we go. And then finally, if we get to the last one, we're going to do type is equal to three. And we'll do this ease in and out function. So there we go. And you'll notice that by default, our ordered menu is set to linear. So we're getting that linear type. So now we're getting a linear line. Cool. So let's jump up and out and select a different function. So ease in, ease out, ease in and out. There we go. All right, so the last things I wanna do is just kinda of add some more parameters here. So let's go and right click on our using video HDA and select type properties. Let's jump back in and let's actually expose the number of points. So I'm gonna hold down Alt on the keyboard and then middle mouse click the num points spare parameter and you'll notice that it pops into my type properties here right away so let's just uh, give this a new name we'll call this number of points for the label we'll clean that up there all right and i'm going to make sure that we have at least two points and we can take this up to like 100 and our default will be 30. there we go hit apply and accept and you can see now we're attached okay and then what I want to do is expose the switch here. So I'm going to middle mouse click and hold down alt on the keyboard. And again, that promotes it automatically to my type properties. And I want to say um, create path question mark and then turn this to a toggle type. And we'll just make sure that that's defaulted to zero. So we just get points Then we're going to hit apply and accept hit up or U on the keyboard. And let's test this out. So now I can just drag this around and create more points. I can create a path out of it if I want, or just get the points. We can switch to different easing functions like so. Super cool. All right. Okay. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Let me know if you, you guys have any questions and I will keep on making cool Vex stuff here shortly. Thanks so much.